Yeah. Man of Medan. Man of Medan. Well, yeah, you have a chance of shooting people if, if you know you want to kill everyone. You, you know, we'll see. Our path is going to be. By talking? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright, making sure my thing is working. We're gonna be playing online. Because, you know, I don't have five people to play with me here. Because I don't got any friends to play with me because of Corona. Corona. So. Never played one of these games before. I really wanted to play Until Dawn, but it was a PS4 exclusive. Your audio is not included. Why didn't you not include mine? Because we're seeing different screens here. I want to wait a bit before we get started and uh, we should probably put this on a uh, YouTube we're seeing both where I'm putting all of this on YouTube so we're both seeing different screens but we're gonna be together most of the time and our choices are gonna make the game you know. You know, we're starting in China. We're probably making the coronavirus. <laughs> and it, you know, that's what it says. Chinese market. China South Sea. I haven't played this game because, you know, you could just see on my screen here, it only says new story. Plus, I can hear his audio in the background. Can you, like, turn that off or mute it? Please. Alright. So this is going to be late night for me. Probably not you. Make sure you're online. I'm gonna be watching chat. You can talk and feel free to uh, give me some hints. Don't backseat game too much. It's not detecting the game, but for me, I could see my screen. W look at your own stream. So. I definitely got to finish up GTA San Andreas Randomizer. But I think I want to wait for my new laptop to come in before I finish. So. Uh, do that. Oh, I'm the special guest of this game, this Let's Play. Or play yes. through, what the hell? <laughs> yes, I'm going to get scared. Yeah, same here. We're both going to be scared, but hey, it's not so scary at the beginning. Basically, this game it gets interesting in the middle. 
and then they end, all. it's where it all comes Bad. down. Okay. I'll turn my game audio up on my headset, not my TV. I don't want it too echoey here. Is there any game audio playing? I can't hear anything. But. I'm still waiting for people to show up. Yeah. I don't want to start and have people not realize what's going on, you know? Why are these two people, what What are they doing? Like, what? What's this game? I never really played it. I've actually watched the entire, uh, game of this. It's freaking fun. And really scary. But in my opinion, I think Little Hope is scarier than this game. Because in Little Hope, they talk about the demonic stuff. There's like, uh, sacrifices and stuff. I really want the game. It's kind of, this game is pretty much Until Dawn, but you can play it online. I really... Who's messaging me already? I'm sorry, I'm not, I gotta turn the phone off. You cannot stream on Xbox? That's big rip. Uh, we can, we, you can restart it real quick. Shouldn't take too long. I'll sit here. Yeah, they already know. Alright, before we get started... Chris is going to restart his Xbox because he can't get Twitch to broadcast his game right now. So just give him a bit. That's fun. Let's take a look around. This game looks freaking good. Still two people. Alright. So yeah, there's a little hope right there. Hopefully they get it that game soon. It's uh, 30 bucks right now. Probably wait for a sale before I get something like that. It looks fun though. And there's another game coming out that would be next year or 2022. These games are fun. I I played Walking Dead. They were quite fun too, but you can't really do much in the Walking Dead like you can this game. Your choices mean a lot compared to the Walking Dead.
Why is the Xbox menu doing that? What the frick? Twitch is gay. Stop flickering the freaking Xbox menu. Before we start, let's make sure there's subtitles. To be honest, I'm gonna leave that where it is. can't quite see the bottom left of my screen because of the viewer thing so I had to freaking take a look at my stream to look at it so QTs QTs is gonna be a uh, kind of awful QTs are quick time events you're gonna have to smash the A or Y button. I'm not sure if the Y button exists in this game, but you had to press the A button in the right time, and you had to keep pressing it. If you didn't press it or you press the wrong button, then you would fail. I'm not sure how it works in this game. I already forgot. I know how to work in uh, Mortal Hope. You had to press the A or Y button. I think it's the same here. That would probably do movie night if I had five people. I don't. So. Like Chris Beck. We're going to get started sometime. <laughs> it's only in an English and adventure game. Interesting. I would play music, but... Yeah. Twitch and their bullcrap copyright system. All right, still. All right, we got quite a bit of people. Is everyone here? You 
still having trouble streaming, Chris? Everyone here, or is it just the bots? Probably just bots. Alright. We're finally good to go. Is everyone here? I'm ready to start. start as Chris if you want to start as yo mama or Charlie all right I'll start as Charlie This VOD will be on, uh, YouTube. So. So don't worry if you miss part of it. He'll be on a VOD on YouTube. It dark. Yeah, I can hear an audio. You hear an audio? You can't hear anything? Oh gosh, that's gonna be a problem. So I can pause in here. Big ribs. I can hear game audio just fine.
righty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. Can you Whoa. hear it now? Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend oh, to. Oh. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Hey, you know what? Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Heck yeah, I can fight. Okay. Right now. Hey, hit it. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey. It's close. Yes, I'm kind of a karate master, huh? No big deal. Why should more with that job? I just I beat it. I got to tell your friends about. Okay, What's pal. Up, man? Spread some of that good fortune around. <laughs> sure. But I got to try out Mr. Punch him up. Good luck. All right, you, you try. Are, you got another quarter on you? What do I look like? A bank? Yes. Okay, old timer. What do I got coming my way? You do it, Jay. What's the forecast for the Odyssey back to the States? Smooth sailing? Well, that is a flower of some sort. Interesting. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Okay, man. God. I'm over here trying to see what my fortune is. It's half the freaking game. Throw the other in the brig. 
can't keep him there. Well, uh, see you, buddy. We're part ways. What a dick. Charlie, how's your time off? Just get me out of here already. Screw it off. What the hell's going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Man, I gotta go back in here. I gotta look at this paper. You you made me not look at this paper. Let me take a look at the secrets, man. Can you, can you, can you lay off? I'm trying to, I'm trying to find this paper. What are you doing in here? I looked at it already. What's in here? Hmm. Didn't get in there. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to go die. Ah, uh, good luck. Oh gosh, why is it close? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh crap, oh crap. What the freak you done, dude? Alright, now I got a quick timing, man.
Yeah, me too. Oh, we gotta keep going. That boosts my heart rate up. We're not dead like that guy. Let's go. Uh oh. Wait. What the hell? I don't like it when the camera zooms up to her face. Uh, what was that? Uh, what did you see? Oh. Uh, I didn't see that. Alright, you do that. Hey, Charlie, help! Hey you. Fuck. What the yeah, freak? Fubar and that son. He did. Gosh damn, another stiff? Who's the lucky winner? Shit. He, he didn't you... Last time I saw him, he was fine. I mean, he was even jonesing for extra security detail. Nothing over there. Like going down. That camera is not friendly. So, uh, is it just me, or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? <laughs> You look like a mess on wheels, Chuck. I ain't the only one. Great. Good company. Let's just get up on deck. Yeah. Fine. Agree. Yeah. Did you see? Uh, I don't see anything. Oh, okay. stuff we saw. Oh yeah, she did.
Are you serious? Yeah, I'm dead too. Well, we already did save everyone. Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? People just die for fear. We seriously got to restart this game because no one's joining. Did the audio just glitch out for you? Won't you spare me over till another year? Oh, uh, here's Aiden. You're done with your stream yet? Hello, and welcome Hello. to my repository. How are you? Mm-hmm. This same guy. He's just a curator. Mm -hmm. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, 
None of us want for it to come too soon, do we? Sometimes you will be determining a story together, sometimes separately. What one does may not make complete sense to the other because we all have different perspectives. But as in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect each other. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. Mm -hmm. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. Let's hope we don't make a huge mess. This game loads fast. Oh no. I'm Brad! Why am I Brad? I don't want to be a Brad. Think we got enough? It's here. If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water, diving. Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Oh, no. Dude, of course. Yeah? I'm like practically a dive master, man. But I gotta tell you, I'm tough. No special treatment. You gotta do exactly what I say. Cool. Well. Cool, thanks, man. Yeah, of course. You're my bro. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Brad, you're not on this trip because you're my bro. I mean, you are my brother, but I mean, like, we're buddies, you know? Um, wow, well, I just got another achievement. Dang it, dude, stop pausing the game. Kinda. We're just out here to fucking hang, cool out, and kick it. What the fuck are you talking about? Let's just kick it and be legends, man. <laughs> Which is be like All right, amigo. Man. I like Calvary's it. almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing, Total Julia, shocker. it's been rough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Roy ship update. Hey! I don't know how... So, uh, what? Can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh... Kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but... It's just... Kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Bearing updated. Hey! Julia!
I hate Conrad. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley, I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. I don't decide if I want a cold one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah cool. <laughs> Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. Not love beer. <laughs> <laughs> right on, Brad. Can't open up a I beer like bottle. Your ship. Uh, it's Jim. Don't ruin it. Apparently so. <laughs> um. <laughs> Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Uh oh. Yep, there's Sarah. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but uh So is everybody ready to go? You'll find out. Uh you're selling, I'm buying. Jeez. No more beer for him. I'm calling right now. Oh, come on, man. That's it. Get it all out. Brad. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Oh, boy. No, I'm calling See those hot picks. Those hot picks? Oh no. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive camp. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. It's just different. Well, well, hot diggity dong. Look at this. <sighs> Alex! Come here! I think we got something. Brad did his homework. If he says a wreck's here, it's here. Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, that kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? Guys, look, I think we got experienced, beautiful, oh, God. smart, and beautiful captain here. If she says we should do Connie, things the right- please, I didn't bring you on this trip to get laid. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's not, I, I, I'm just saying she's right, not because, she, I mean, she is beautiful, but that's like a coincidence. She's the captain. Look, we paid for this dive, generously, we're diving. You're the client. But if anything goes wrong... Oh, I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? Are they updating? We should be ready to catch anyway. you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro? Oh, I can finally move around. 
Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Almost got Disgusting. the gear good to go. Hey. Hmm. I hope there might be a way in. So, thanks again for springing for the good Ooh. stuff. Nice to be able to do it right. Uh-huh. What? You know, the size of my bank account is not in a competition with the size of your penis, right? Mm. I just want to make sure we're both contributing equally to the relationship with our money. It's very sweet, Alex, but you contribute in other ways. It's just money. If it helps us have a good time, great. That's what it's for. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Seriously, where does she get off? What am I about seeing it? here? She's making a small fortune on this trip. Yeah, not that small. Rules are rules. I get it. But what's the big deal if nobody finds out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right. in here. I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Hey, sis. Mm hmm. Hey, Connie, how's it going? Uh, mind if I help you out a little? One, why are you acting so weird? And two, why are you offering to help for like the first time ever in your life? Look, I was just thinking it might make a good first impression on the lovely <laughs> folks. <laughs> what okay. am I doing? Now, three, don't call her the. She's a person, not a thing. And four, do you ever even think about anything else? Hey, lady's got a thirst, and I'm here to quench it. And what's with all the numbers? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Bro's afraid of math, and that's five. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Hey, she's all right. She's just a bit of a stickler for the rules. The word is bitch. Hey, look, she's not gonna Don't. be down there with you. She can't stop you from doing shit. Connie, you gotta keep it in your pants around Fliss. Just cool it with all your desperate pickup bullshit. Uh, desperate? Look, I could charm the fish from the sea, sister. Just you wait. All right. I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up and then we'll go through the final steps together. Great. I'm gonna kick back and uh, enjoy the sights for a little while. And by enjoy the sights, I mean I'm gonna ogle our captain like a grade A creep. Yeah, I got it. Gross. Hey, at least I'm honest. Still gross. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think Julia likes me. Oh, captain, my captain. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. At least you showed me a little respect. Even if you're the only one in the group. Ah, oh, yeah. Sorry about that. My sis can be a little... Uh... Intense? Yeah, that's one way to put it. There are laws here. And customs. You gotta respect that. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Oh, I got experience. In all the right places, if you catch me. Yeah, one. I caught it. And I tossed it back. You don't yeah, seem you... to give up easily, do you? For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Nobody has to know that we were down in that wreck. We'll just do a little of the old in and out, presto, we can report finding it afterwards, if you're so inclined. You know what? Fine. Do what you want. You're not gonna listen to me anyways. But if you take one thing, wreck, you're gonna make us all criminals. Okay. I'm sure Julia left anything on the mainland. I think this might be bogus. Hmm. Bogus. Get off me. Well, hello. What is this? 
Oh. Hey. Yep. Hey, man. that's Brad. Hey, get out! Get out of my way, man! You get out of my way. I'm a white. Man. How you feeling? Shouldn't have had that beer. No sweat, Braddy Shack. We'd be hanging up top. Should you care to join? <laughs> yeah, I'll be up as soon as I <clears throat> stop puke heaving. Wow, I can't unhear that term. Locker, what you got inside of you? Interesting. What's this now? Fancy. Good on you, Alex. Dude, tanks are ready when you are. Tanks are ready. All right. It's camera angle, dude. It's killing me. Hey. Hello. Okay. So, this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Thanks for sending me straight. Oh, hey, guys. What? Jesus, why are you so loud? I almost completely forgot. When I was looking at the dive cam, I saw this huge hole in the tail. Kablooey. That's your way into the plane. Oh, nice work, man. Thanks, Conrad. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. How's it going? Are those two going in or what? Any minute now. All right, kids. Photo. Good to go. Just remember the rules, please. Uh. Maybe we can fire it up again tonight for our private post dive special. <laughs> Are you going to bring your bang stick? <laughs> that front cabin is going to pop its portholes. Good luck down there. I'm gonna be up here. I think I'm gonna be up here. Hmm. Maybe.
Oh. She went flissed so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be. Um. Cool. It's not like one tiny little that thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell anyone. That you was know. a megalodon. <laughs> not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is like way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. I'm Julia. The turret. We can get in through there. Dangerous. Uh, ladies first. <laughs> Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? Oh, oh no. Um, that's not good. I think Julia was having a heart attack. Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Maybe it is kind of dangerous. All down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Hmm? Oh, I'm taking my sweet time. Nobody's watching. Kind of sad. Good God. <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. He's holding something. Hmm. Wow. What the hell happened here? A little look at things. They knew they were goners. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Want to go first? <clears throat> ah, cheap piece of shit. That's not good. My knife just broke. <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh! I think I went my not cool, suit. bro. When life gives you lemons. Ew. Holy cow! I just got jump scared. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Not cool, bro. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Else, please. Uh oh. He's 
holding something. Okay, I get it. Guess I'm done here. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Go for Julia. What's up? How's it going down there? You found anything you should not be messing with? I gotta tell you, this plane is one for the history books. <laughs> Amazing. Congratulations on the big find. Good luck. Totally cool you let us do this, Fliss. It's amazing down here. Okay, roger that. That was odd. Anything else I can do down here? I don't think so. He's holding something. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. We gotta get out of here now. Sharp, not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. I thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. Oh, no. I, I don't I guess. Oh, I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia. Will you marry me? I... I... Oh, crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I... I just... I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes! Yes! I'll marry the shit out of you! <laughs> Alright, handsome hero. You wanna get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where did the boat come from? Wait, Julia, we gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What God. the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my brother's up there. Fuck it, I'm going. Alex? Alex? Hey, what the hell is going on? Uh, hey, JJ, don't worry about it. Dude, we were freaking... It's, I was getting married down there. There was a little, uh, you ruined it. mishap. With the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. 
What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. And curator's like, eh, some regrettable decisions. Oh, but here he is. <laughs> I don't think you. Uh oh. <laughs> You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss. Strong, forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Oh, no. Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. Good job, Chris. Well, we're making regrettable decisions already. I would thought. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel. But now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans, eventually. Now you're speaking my language. And taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. Like a rug, see all over me. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Of course you did. Uh... It's Christ, Conrad! <sighs> Sorry to interrupt your seven seconds in heaven. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Oh, of course you were. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. 
Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Congratulations. I'll go get it. <laughs> well, no, I'm actually going to take a look. Oh my god, stop pausing the game, you freaking... Such a good bro, bro. Bro. Wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. Uh, one, I'm not that sappy. Two, I was talking about med school. Still. We're over the top, bro. So Did I once say? We're going again tomorrow. Yes, sign me up. Mm. Can't wait to see this sucker for myself. Hey, got the pad yet? Got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. I got distracted. I was looking at got a camera. It. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Okay. Easy, Tiger. We should get back. Right here. Bear. Hey, well there, sailor. Um, excuse me? Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bend? Yeah, it's, uh, when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, 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 yeah, uh, uh decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Telling you? Take orders from this guy? Just drink a beer. Uh, maybe I'll stick to H2O. Don't want to push my luck. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. From the photos Alex took, you can see the flight badge on one of the corpses. That means the crew is from the Conwyn Island, smack dab in the middle of the Pacific Theater. Called it. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. Oh, no. No, hey, they were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Oh, come on. No one even been down there, and I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. 
Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting, the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. He of the one-track mind. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and insists her parents are upstairs. So. They go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. You know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my brother. And she turns to the closet and says, he's hiding in there. Oh, great. Blame the brother. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside but he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees, it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, it's so ah, gross. Horrible. Hey, well, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out.
See how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. We have to get free right now. Be back for you later. Jesus, Conrad.
Shut the fuck up. Hey, dollars to donuts, it'll be Fliss and Julia breaking heads. Not the other way around. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy-buddy with him. <sighs> Did you see my brother? No, I didn't. I hope he's all right. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. wait and see what they want to do with us. It's a bad decision to screw us over. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, storm's eight miles away. Storm's eight miles away. They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy here. He's got a gun. If we play our cards right, we can catch him by surprise. Take him out. We're going to get someone if killed here. I can already feel I it. I can sneak around to the speedboat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We've got to break these off first. It's too loud. They'll hear it. But we're going to break them during the thunder. Good call. I'll, um... Here, I'll climb out this You're window. You're playing Conrad, right? Just scope it out. You guys distract them, so they don't see me sneaking. You better be careful. Okay, let's do it.
Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de cons! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo? Just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. Hey, come on. We're just passing time. No big deal. Keep quiet. Captain says shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. <laughs> Still, all of you. Yeah, they said too. You come with me. Hey, leave her alone. <sighs> no. And talking to you. You and your friends had no right to come on our boat and do this. Just shut up. What the hell is going on, Alex? We need to keep an eye on Fliss. She's helping them. She's gotta be. You really think she is? Hey, that's enough. No talking. This ain't summer camp. Couldn't talk at summer camp either. And what do you want? Wanna point that thing somewhere else? What if it goes off by accident? No such thing. Cues in time. Oh. oh no! Oh no! Do we just have an heart attack?
great idea just to tell them where Brad is. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. Oh. <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Tempted? Yeah, let me know. Okay, you're in agreement. Clue it is. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. That was the freaking flask I hit the guy with. Sadly, I think I'm gonna end it here. See you.